the National Stock Exchange of India has been actively involved with initiatives to educate the young generation of our country on the importance of financial management. One such initiative is NSE Finwiz that focuses on educating and advising the young workforce of the country on wealth management to enhance financial literacy and to empower Insurance them. Insurance is for protection and investment is for growth. Another program facilitated by NSC IPFT is NSC Financial Quest. This inter-school financial quiz contest goes an extra mile by educating the young students on fundamentals of finance. On the buzzer, what is this? It's the formula for the simple interest. Simple interest is the right answer. Under the NSC Financial Quest Base Camps banner, the program engages students around the year through workshops on various topics, projects, interactive videos, and quizzes. DiCaprio's bouncing checks of Pan Am. Plus 75 on that. Plus 75. To facilitate these two programs, NSC along with CNBC TV18 has travelled across the country to bridge the wide knowledge gap in terms of finance. In this episode of NSC Finwiz, we are all set to achieve our objectives once again by gauging young professionals in a new city. Hello and welcome to Season 4 of NSC Finwiz, powered by CNBC TV18. I'm your host Mridu Bhandari and today my team and I are in Noida at the headquarters of one of the country's leading manufacturers of fast-moving electrical goods, Havels India. Havels India Limited is one of India's leading fast-moving electrical goods manufacturers, producing a wide range of world-class industrial and consumer electrical products. The company has an extremely strong global presence across 50 countries with manufacturing units in China, Europe, Africa and Latin America, apart from seven manufacturing locations in India. Havels India owns some of the most prestigious Indian brands like Havels, Crabtree, Standard Electric and Promtech. NSE Finwiz along with CNBC TV18 visited the headquarters of Havels in Noida to understand the thoughts and notions of their employees on wealth management and financial planning with the theme, Dreams Come True. I believe that uh, financial literacy is very important in, uh, for today's generation because uh, in our parents and, and before that they were quite uh, conservative in their spending and all that but we, uh, we feel that we spend a lot and we save a little less. So it's very important to save and invest right so that it can defeat the inflation as well as meet the uh, you know goals of the individual. My investment uh, plan is a mix of um, equities, mutual funds um, and gold ETFs as of now. So it's been more towards uh, the high growth uh, equities and high growth plans uh, because I think I can take the risk right now. I dream of achieving a uh, you know a good lifestyle where you know can I can meet the aspirations I you know have uh, for myself for my family so that I can give a better lifestyle for a, maybe a, a bigger house a better lifestyle maybe a vacation uh, to uh, outside country maybe in a year or two and uh, you know buying a better luxury car so these are the aspirations. Welcome to NSC Finvis part by CNBC TV18. I'm in Noida today at the headquarters of Havels India and I'm joined by a panel of experts who are going to conduct a financial planning and wealth management workshop here for the employees. On the panel today, Tanvir Alam, CEO and founder of FinCard.com and Harsh Rungta, Chartered Accountant and SEBI Registered Investment Advisor. Welcome gentlemen, thanks for joining us at the Havels India office today and uh, as you can see the employees here are very excited to have you. So first off, I want to start off with the trends that Indian, especially Indian youth has as far as saving and investing is concerned. So traditionally, we've been a society that's been good at saving, but are we equally good at multiplying our money? Tanvir, would you like to start? Yes, India as a country, we've had a high savings rate, almost 30%. Now, but I would like to segregate this based on the generations, okay? The earlier generation used to save a little bit more. The current generation, what we have realized, because of the booming consumption, the mushrooming malls, and the ability to spend money, easy availability of loans and credit, the consumption has gone a little bit higher. Now, we somehow try to copy or go the Western world type. And if you go to the Western world type, in the Western world, 
a lot of youngsters land up in huge amount of debt which we see out here also to some extent not to that extent to some extent getting replicated people are earning a lot but somehow they're not saving good enough okay so this is the trend which is happening if you're not doing congratulations and good good job i think but, uh, mr rungta how much is good enough okay that's a lovely question in terms of how much should i invest for my future and uh, tradition and the other question uh, that say tanvir asked when we asked people okay why don't you invest and he says where is the money right i think a good way to decide to invest is first invest then spend okay uh, and a good rule if you are young a good rule is the good old 80 20 rule where you first put away 20% okay and you make sure that what is available to you is only the balance 80% put that away 20% in a manner that it gets deducted out of your pay before you are in a position to spend it i think that is the best thing that you can do if you are older and haven't really been investing so far obviously that percentage will have to be higher if you are doing that much investment and you doing reasonably wise investments then i think and you don't have outlandish goals i think that kind of investment provided you start early should see you through to most of your goals right so the overarching theme of this season of finviz is dreaming big because this is a generation that really does de- dream big we want the best education we want high paying jobs we want overseas vacations a house car what not you name it and the youth wants it so how should one set financial goals along with life goals how do you peg them together then we uh see so basically there are goals can be segregated to three ways okay uh, short term goals medium term and the long term goals by short term goals i mean any goal that is less than 3 year could be a short term goal I mean 5 to 7 year or 10 year perhaps is a mid term goal that you're looking at any goal that is 10 15 year above and more a long term goals okay use say a good equity fund to actually trade chase long term goals okay and a mid term goal could be through a balance of fund and a fixed deposit or a bond fund could actually fund your short term goals now these are ways of actually moving most common mistake that people do is people at a young age try to do not factor retirement as a goal one of the common mistake that we do and there is a very interesting study that comes about i'll come to that later so now answering her question is if you have a goal segregate in them in baskets you may want to buy a car in the coming 3 years that should be a short term goal right now suppose if you have kids who are in, and who get get educated in the 5 7 years that could be a mid term goal your retirement is a long term goal buying a house in 5 year time could be a mid term goals you segregate goals and saving for your goals adds direction to your money okay it helps you to actually achieve bigger goals try to keep at a longer distance you will be surprised how power of compounding works and helps you to achieve that all right so mr rungta would you like to dwell a little bit upon how diversified should your portfolio be what are the essential uh you know investment vehicles that one should have and how do you really identify a good investment vehicle so i think the first step to meeting your goals is to recognize which one of them are more important typically the way the human mind thinks it's very difficult to think beyond the horizon and for younger people especially uh, retirement appears in another life literally right uh young people don't retire only old people retire right uh, the point is most people would end up saving for or investing for their short term goal at the expense of their long term goal typically if resources are limited then you have to make sure that you distribute your uh, investable surplus in a manner that meets your long term goal as well as meets your short term goal in fact in short term goal there are quite a few what i would call recurring goals and typically a vacation or a car is actually an expenditure it can't really be a goal because once you, you you're not going to take that vacation only once you're not going to buy that car only once so maybe you are the kind who going to buy that 
car over every five years or maybe every seven years or maybe three years that depends on you maybe that very expensive vacation you will take once every five years or seven years that i think should come out of your running income i mean you just put aside a small little money that should pay for that that's not really a goal it's a deferred expenditure i think recognizing that is important that will allow you and first put aside for long term whether it is retirement whether it is for your children's education if that is long term for any of you when you put that aside you will realize how much money you have left over for your short term uh, goals and you may have to readjust maybe instead of buying a expensive car you may buy a smaller car maybe instead of going for a uh, vacation that's 30 days overseas you might decide to go for a 15 days vacation but now at least when you go for that 15 day vacation you're going you don't feel guilty because you're not stealing from the future i think that is the art of planning the art of planning helps you enjoy your money and the way that you enjoy your money is making sure that your long term is taken care of while you are enjoying the short term all right lots of interesting thoughts and insights from our financial experts here at the havels india office in noida we're going to head into a short break right now but don't go anywhere because on the other side we're going to get to know all about insurance products and how to choose the right one stay with us only on cnbc tv 18